Hey everyone, welcome back to the 4-H at home gardening series. In this video, we're going to show you all about soil and water. Living things as diverse as deer, roly polies, sunflowers, and people all depend on soil. Deer and other animals feed on plants growing in the soil. Roly polies burrow and live in the soil during their life cycle. Sunflowers and other plants grow in soil, which anchors them and holds the water and nutrients they need to grow. And people depend on soil for food to eat, clothes to wear, wood to build houses, and even for sweet treats such as ice cream and chewing gum to enjoy. Soil is a building block for all life. It is composed of many materials, just as a favorite cookie recipe contains many ingredients. The main ingredient in soil is rock that has been broken into tiny particles over time. It also contains decomposing plants and animals, such as leaves that have fallen from trees or grass clippings after mowing. Finally, the soil also contains water and nutrients. Now, do you remember some of the things you've learned about what a plant needs? What do you think would happen if roots were always dry or always soaking wet? In order for a plant to stay healthy, its roots must have good soil. So, what makes good soil? There are three main parts to soil. Sand, silt, and clay. Most plants grow poorly in soil that has too much sand because it dries out quickly and doesn't allow its roots to get enough water. Think of how hot beach sand gets in the summer and how dry it is even though it's right next to water. In the opposite, the same goes with too much clay. Clay clumps together very easily and becomes sticky, and it keeps the roots too wet. After it rains, when you walk in mud, it sticks to the bottom of your shoe and gets heavier the more you walk. The best soil is usually a mixture of all these soil types, the sand, silt, and clay. Now, we all need certain nutrients to keep our bodies healthy. We get nutrients from eating nutritious foods, such as carrots, bananas, beans, milk, and from vitamins. Just like people, plants need nutrients to stay healthy. Garden plants get nutrients from the soil and from nutrients that we give them, called fertilizer. Fertilizer gives plants nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. All right, now let me show you how I fertilize my plants. If you buy fertilizer, make sure you read the instructions before. If you are planting a transplant like this, you can use a granulated fertilizer. And once your plant is in the ground, you can use a liquid fertilizer routinely to continue giving the plants the nutrients they need. So let's plant this transplant in the ground. Wet your soil first. Never ever plant on dry soil. Then water your transplant so that way you don't shock the plant. Kind of like a goldfish. You want it to adjust to its new permanent home. Then dig your hole. Add a little more water to compact the soil. The hole needs to be as deep as the container the transplant is in. You don't want it too high or too low. Now it's time to fertilize. For this fertilizer, the instructions say to put two tablespoons per plant. You can mix it in a little. Then you take your plant out and place it in the hole. Next. Pack in the plant tightly by pushing all around it. Finally, water your plant once again, directly on the soil. Oh, 
and don't forget the plant label. All right, now that you learned about soil, let's talk about water. The water you used to brush your teeth with this morning may have been some of the same water that rained on your great-great-grandparents' heads or that dinosaurs drank millions of years ago. Our planet Earth is sometimes called the water planet because most of it is covered with water. That's good for us because all living things need water to live. All the water on the Earth is the same water we have used over and over again thanks to the water cycle. When rain falls, some of it runs off the top of the ground and some soaks into the soil. Now that we know how important it is to have good soil and plenty of water for the roots, let me show you how to properly water. Let's start with seeds. One thing that you need to be careful is to not drown the seeds. Also, the seed will tell you how deep it needs to be buried. Whatever the size the seed is, is how deep it needs to be buried. A tiny seed can just be set on top of the soil. A big seed will need to be buried slightly. Once you place your seed, gently water. We recommend using a handheld container or a gardening hose. Never ever use high pressure water. Seeds need to remain moist and be kept warm. Look at your seed packet for all the information. Okay, so what about regular plants? It's always good to research beforehand how much water each plant needs. For example, most rosemaries do well with very little water. In fact, in my house, it only gets water when it rains. And look how great they're doing. All right, now let's water this plant. These inland oats were naturalized meaning it spread from a mother plant nearby and they are still very young, so I need to give it water often. But once it is established like the mother plant, it is drought resistant, meaning it will require little water and it is considered a water saver plant. But it takes about a year for a plant to become established. The key to watering is being patient and being gentle. Don't water on top of the plant because roots are what carry the water, not the stem, leaves, or flowers. The roots are underground and spread out, so we have to water around the plant. We water, then let it soak in, then water again and let it soak in again, until the water has gone all the way to the roots. To test if the roots got the water, you can use a stick like this. If the soil is still dry, keep watering. If the soil is moist, perfect. You can use your finger too. If the water is not draining down, you water too much. Some plants you might be spending few minutes watering, and some plants you might spend 20 to 30 minutes watering. Not all plants have the same watering needs, so do your research. Now it's time for a fun activity. We are going to conduct an investigation to see if plants grow without soil. Plants that are grown without soil are called hydroponics. Let's grab your supplies. We will need test tubes, a seed starter tray, rock wool, plant labels, a pipette, a permanent marker, soybean seeds, and water. First, let's start by grabbing your seed starter tray. You only need the bottom half part for now. Now we need rock wool. These are used to germinate seeds and to transplant them into hydroponic systems. Place these in your seed starter tray. Next, grab your soybean seeds and gently tuck them in the rock wool. After that, carefully water them using a pipette. Then, label your plant label and place them into your tray. Now, let's grab the top of your seed starter tray. Remember, Seeds need to be moist and warm. By putting on the lid, it acts like a small greenhouse and you can even adjust the humidity. Finally, place your seed starter tray inside your house by a window that gets a lot of sunlight. After about five days, 
my soybean seeds sprouted. But it's not quite ready for the test tubes yet. After about one week, my soybeans were ready for the next step. First, make sure to label your test tubes with the name of the seed and the date. Using a pipette, draw water from a cup or a bowl and fill the test tubes to the 35 milliliter mark. Now the fun part. Carefully place the rock wool with the seed link into the test tube. The top lip of the rock wool should rest on the edge of the test tube just like this. When you're done, you might need to add more water in the test tube to make sure the bottom of the rock wool is touching the water. Next, grab a piece of aluminum foil and wrap around the test tubes carefully. Finally, place the test tubes back by its sunny window. Make sure to maintain the water level in your test tube so your soybean has water. And there is your test tube hydroponics. We hope you enjoyed this video. Having good soil and water are vital to having a healthy garden. And remember to submit your photos. Details are in the description box below. Happy gardening!